Okay, welcome back to the Siren. Today we're, in this video we're going to be working on the rigging for the uh, bowsprit. So it's completed. First step is to glue it in. I generally don't glue mass bowsprits in because they really don't need it. The rigging holds it in place. Next thing you're supposed to do is take the splash shield here and shape it. And this is actually two layers of wood glued together and glued around a form to make it fit right to give the proper shape. And once it has a proper shape, you just need to get it onto the ship. I'm going to wait on putting it on right now. That's better, a little bit of light on the subject here. I'm going to wait to put it on until I have the gammoning in place. Just so there's one less thing sticking up and being in the way. And as you recall in the last video, we went ahead and did the open and closed hearts here. So I'll set that aside. The gammoning is this bit of rigging right here that holds the bowsprit down into the ship. And has instructions here on how to tie it. Maybe you tie an eye in the in the rope or seize it however you want to do it. Then you wrap it around several times. Looks like here we have nine turns. And then you're supposed to wrap it. So I'm gonna do that. Get it going. Uh it says it's supposed to be the 0.021 rigging. If anybody from Model Ship is watching this, it'd be nice if we had the part number here as well. Since everything is a part number, not a size. So if you're doing the ship, go write your size of the rope on here and save some confusion. Save the tag. Grab my line. The first thing I'm going to do is make a loop in the end and seize it. This is the same line. I believe they were supposed to do the rope around the hearts with, but I had to use some from uh, Mantua for that, that order. Because this stuff was, the ends were fraying too much for me for getting those in. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a loop on the end for the rope to go through. Um, I'm going to do that. Around a rod, if I can find one here. You don't need to do the loop around the end because you're going to bury it anyway. That's going to be, going to be good on camera, black against black. Anyway, she's going to have some thread cut around or tie it around it, seize it in place. And I'm not going to worry about the best look because, it's, like I said, it's going to be buried anyway. There we go. Take off. Fairly small loop. Something like that. I'll well, add another couple of half hitches around it to make sure it's held in place. Call that good. And if you can see that, just a little loop tied into it, seized in place, and then you can trim off the excess. There. Go through. Get over the bowsprit. 
and then this thing goes right up against these chocks right here. And this is going to be hard to show, but there's a hole right here the rope goes through. So basically you have to get everything threaded through, all your wood around the bow, feed it through the hole. And then feed it back up the other side. All with rigging line that essentially wants to stick to itself. And then you're going to go over this nine times. Every time you're on top, you're going to go to the front of the ship. Every time you're in the bottom, you're going to go to the back so that the, rig, so that the gammoning crosses itself. So I'm going to get this in place, and we'll see how it looks. Okay, that took entirely too long, but here we have the gammoning done. Next step is we're going to get the splash shield shaped and put into place. That's going to involve marking the center of it, cutting out a lot of trowel fitting. These ends are going to have to be cut to length as well. A little sanding will be painted black and then glued in place. So I'll get that done. I'm going to do that off camera and we'll come back and get um, the next set which it, of rigging which is the bob stays which come down from two hearts here and down to the bow of the ship. There's two holes here they go into. And those are just knotted ropes that the hold the bowsprit down with the sailors and not so that sailors can uh, walk on them. So I'll get the splash shield shaped in place. We'll come back and we'll do the bob stays. Okay, now we have the gammoning done. We need to do these bob stays. I did one of them here already just to see how to do it. And that way I can film the second one and show you what I did. It's going to be hard to see. Hands are going to be in the way and I apologize for that. There's really no way to do this without hands in the way. It's going to be hard to film for me. So I'm going to take one piece of the correct line, the, where is it, the point zero zero, no, it's not point zero zero eight, it's point zero one eight black line. And I cut myself off a piece of thread and I seized it through the hole in the bow. It's a little hole there and while you're doing all this, make sure you're not breaking off your dolphin strike or your bumpkins and all that. If you find yourself going fast and hitting stuff, just stop, take a break, and slow it back down. So, seminate my seasoning with a clove hitch, followed by two half hitches, two or three half hitches. And again, I apologize for the lighting and the hands on the way, but this is really hard to, rigging is really hard to film just because you got to be in there. little seizing there. Then I put a little spot of glue on the seizing just to make sure it stays in place. Don't want it slipping around, don't want it coming off. I'm using a gap filling super glue because it doesn't run and get everything else doing weird stuff. Trim off your tails. And now it's seized to the bow. Now, there's a series of knots going up. You want to space about the same as on each one. 
the same distance apart. I'm just doing an overhand knot. That'll be sufficient to, to do it. The book says tie, I'm assuming, another piece of string around it. But that'll be sufficient. Right there. And one more. And this last one will end up actually being right at the base of the heart. If I can get it tied. Like that. You need a heart on there, and if you remember before, I actually got my different brand of hearts rather than the ones that come with the kit. There. And to put this on, I got my heart. Put glue on one side in the slot. Get it down where you want it. And put glue on the other side. To get it centered in there. That way I can get it centered in there. And then on the top, I put some glue in the slot. And I take both lines and do them across. A little bit more on top just to seal it up. Trim off your tails. And if there's any fraying sticking out, just put a little glue on it and rub it down. That'll be sufficient to hide it. Like that. And then for the rigging in between, you need your really fine rigging that you use for the rigging of the carronades and cannons. The point zero zero eight. And you're just going to do multiple loops going through. Like about four different loops, I think, is what I did on the other one. Now, the instructions aren't very uh, helpful on telling you how to finish these lashings here. So you're up to your, up to your own devices on how you're going to finish them. That's three. Me being the landlubber that I am, I don't know how to fish them off either. Okay. 
And as you do this, you want to make sure that your lashings are spread out in the heart, not all bunched up to one side like they are here. Fairly tight, but not too tight. And then what I did oops, I'm going to take one and go through. And get to go through and stay there. tight and I put glue inside the heart right here and before it dries just pull everything tight in there so it looks good Then the same thing on the other end. Once it sets, you can trim off your tails, and that gives you your where the bob stays in place. If anybody knows how to tie them, please put a comment in the uh, comment on the video and let me know if there's a place I can see that. <clears throat> but for now, I think these will suffice. Oops, they came out. So I'll go ahead and fix that and then when we come back we'll be doing the the shrouds right here. Got the uh, bob stays, now we need to do the bowsprit stays. Bowsprit stays are these ones here that go right on the side. On either side, I've already done one. They're real similar to the bob stays, except they don't have the knots in them and they're only a single line. Sharks can say 0.021. Um, if it's from uh, all I was watching, again, we have instructions if you had the part number for the, the string rather than along with the size because the, the parts for the the rigging are labeled the part number not the size but the instructions are labeled the size not the part number so just a little convenience if the part number in, with the size is there in the instructions anyway as I'm doing these so this is only a single line that I've been doing I've been gluing the top, gluing the sides and then doing seizing around the bottom of the heart. Just using the old trusty super glue for that. A little CA. Move it right on top so I can get it started in there. A little inside right here. the other side. Don't go overboard with it. Turns up something like that. And then helping hands which were cleverly hidden right in front of me. the heart in place and like with the other seasons I'm just using plain old black thread I'm doing a clove hitch so two loops with the strings you pull on the insides 
they'll tighten up and you can start feeding everything through. And then I usually do a couple half hitches after that to see to make it look like there's a good seizing around there. I try to get them to go above the knot to close up any kind of gaps I may have between the heart and the the seizing. Something like that. Should have stuck a little bit of something to hold it in place. Nose tails can be cut off, but what you would find on a real ship is it would be seized and then a little bit further down would be another seizing. I'll do the second set of floss and do the second season. And then I find that this uh, Mall Expo rope rigging frays real easy. So I usually do a little bit of a extra glue on the rope itself for the tail so that when I trim it off it's not frayed. And that's a heart with a reasonable facsimile of a season. Next, the thing's supposed to needs to go on the ship. It needs to go. Give me a second here. Uh, there. <clears throat> Make a cradle for the ship real quick. It needs to go to the ring right here. Instructions say it should be a hook. You can do a hook if you want. I just have a ring. I find that's good enough. Basically, the line's going to go through it. If you're using a hook, you're going to tie the line to seize the line to a hook, and the hook would just go on to the ring. I'm just going to seize the line directly to this ring here, and you wouldn't have the second ring like I have here. through like that and then this thing should come right about the same as the other one so it sits right in here because you're going to lash it to this um, heart right here get you back in frame here sorry about that so this heart's going to seize to that heart or lash to that heart with the same kind of lashing as that but you want to get a little bit away, and to do that, what I did is I took a piece of wire and I made basically a almost closed U out of it, or an open triangle that I can feed through the hearts. So when I pull this other end tight, I get a nice space here, and then that gives me come back and do the seizing on this ring. And now I'm gonna get the heart about where I want it. And that one's in place. I'm not gonna film the lashing up here because you've already seen that with the bob stays themselves. So I'll go ahead and get that done. We'll come back and the next thing I think is the martingales. Yeah, the inner martingale stays. So I'll get the seizing done 
or lashing done, come back and do the inner morning drill stays. Okay, so the bow shirt sprit shrouds are in place on either side. I have did the, what is this one? This was the inner martingale and the back martingale, back outer martingale on both sides, or on one side. You do on the other side. This martingale is supposed to tie to the tip of the bow sprit, go through the dolphin striker, through the fair lead, and up to a ring in front. To do that, I have taken my string I'm supposed to be using. Just gonna wipe that crown back in so you can see better. Taking the string I'm supposed to be using, and on one end, I coated it with um, super glue so it's fairly stiff. That way I can take it and feed it through where it's supposed to go. So this needs to go through the top hole in the dolphin striker, if I can find it here. To the top hole in the dolphin striker. Then he's come through one of the two center holes in the fair lead. Which, don't mind saying, it's kind of hard to see with you guys in the way of the camera. And through there. This end will get a loop tied into it <clears throat> to make the uh, the eye that the, the lanyard go through. To do that, I just seize it the same way as everything else. Seize it the same way as I did the one over here and wherever else. Okay, so I've gotten the martingale on the left starboard side, or port side done. Now I'm going to work on the starboard side here. This line is supposed to go from the bottom of the dom striker up to a pulley here at the very, if I can get over here, very tip of the flying jaboom, back down through the bottom hole dolphin striker through the fair lead and back to a ring here, the third ring out. So I got my line, I've coated the end in super glue which makes it feed through easier. Which means I can come up, go through my fair lead, I'm gonna get off of there. To the bottom hole of the dolphin striker. Up through the pulley at the tip of the flying boom. Lock, whatever. Sometimes you have to drill them out, so I'll do that on this one. So, drill the hole out so that the line can go through it. Usually what happens is you uh, get them plugged up with your super glue or whatever adhesive you're using to secure the line around it. So through it. And this gets tied off down at the bottom of the ball and straight, or seized off, excuse me. Not to 
can break anything. And there's that end. I'm not going to show on camera. The other end, you see, is the same way we did all these other ones. Just put lashings going around. So I'll get that done off camera and come back. And the last thing to put on here is the foot ropes. And with the foot ropes done, that means the rigging, the, the initial rigging of the bowsprit will be done. Okay, so I've already done one of the foot ropes over here. Right here. And all it is is one line that's seized in a ring here at the tip of the jaboom and then another section at the tip of the flying jaboom, if I can get on camera here. And then there's knots in it. Easy to do. All you want to do is... The table's not big enough for this. So all, you want to, all I did was come into the eye bolt that's right here. And seize it on. And then I just, every once in a while, just tied a simple overhand knot along it, seize it up here to the type, tip of the jaboom, and then to tip of the flying jaboom. I'm going to do that off camera, and we'll come back, we'll see what it looks like. I also have the splash shield made up, just needs to have the wires trimmed off the back and painted and glued in place. And I think I already showed you how to do this before, where you take the two pieces they, they have for you, supply for you, soak them in water, and you glue them around a form to get the shape without gluing it to the form. And that'll give it a shape. Do a little sanding smooth. Do the notch in for your bowsprit. Notches in for the fair leads. Paint it black and glue it in place. So I'm going to get all that done. And then we'll come back and see the results. And so there we go. I have both sets of the foot ropes in place. All the way up to the bowsprit, or the end of the flying jaboom. Just a single focus on it. I think it's a little better. It's a GoPro, so I can't tell it's focus. And then I also have a splash, splash shield here made up to go in. It's just going to get glued in, but I'm going to coat it with a clear mash the rest of the ship and then glue it in place, but I'll do that off camera. So with that, that is the rigging of the bowsprit, the initial rigging of the bowsprit done. And we'll keep playing with these foot ropes to get them to sag into place properly. But I think they're fine how they are at the moment. The only mistake I made is I think up here on the very tip, they should have been inside the martingales. I am outside. I'm not going to worry about that. Nobody will notice except for me. And with that, I'm going to close out this video. Thank you for watching. Next time, we'll be, we should be working on the masts. Although I'm going to take a, it might be a while because I'm going to start rigging up the carronades first and get those finished. I have not rigged them up yet, but they kind of need to be done before the masts are in place. So again, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.